Hello and welcome to CompTIA training. In this video we are going to cover 25 CompTIA Plus Core 1 questions and some of them will come from official CompTIA website as you can see here. So these questions are very close to those which you will get on your real CompTIA A Plus Core 1 exam. And if you will find this video useful, leave a like, share this video, subscribe to the channel as we will be covering not only CompTIA Plus but we will also be going through security, net Working and we will be covering many other CompTIA examinations here on CompTIA training channel. So, no further ado, let's get into it. And first question is, a technician needs to replace a failed power supply on a server. The server in question only has one power supply. The server contains two processors that each need 100 watts, five hard drives that each need 9 watts, and a GPU that uses 200 watts. Which of the following power supplies or PSU should the technician use? 425 watts, 375 watts, 325 watts, or 500 watts? Correct answer here is 500 watts. Next question. An organization uses a cloud storage service to store company files. The file synchronization client for this cloud service is installed on every user's computer. One user reports that the file synced with the client to their computer doesn't contain information a co-worker of theirs added earlier today. Indicate the best action to take when troubleshooting this problem. Exit the cloud services client that is locally installed, restart the computer and then check to see if the file contains the information that is missing. Open the cloud services client that is locally installed and check to see if there are any updates available for the client. Visit the cloud services website, locate the service status page and determine if there is a service outage impact on the organization. And next answer is open the cloud service is client that is locally installed, determine if there are any reported errors and follow the steps provided to correct the synchronization errors. And here the correct answer is open the cloud services client that is locally installed, determine if there are any reported errors and follow the steps provided to correct the synchronization errors. A technician is helping a user configure a new mobile phone. The user could pay for purchases with the previous phone by touching the phone to the payment system. Which of the following features should the technician enable so that the user can use the new phone to also pay for purchases this way? RFID, NFC, PAN or Bluetooth? And here the correct answer is NFC, near field communication. Next question, a user recently reported that every few days the system clock is approximately 3 minutes behind. The user also received an error message on the BIOS screen, which of the following would most likely fix the clock issue? Install new power supply, replace the motherboard CMOS battery, enable dual channel memory by adding a second RAM stick, or configure the PC to be NTP server. And correct answer here is replace motherboard CMOS battery. A user with a new 5G smartphone notices the device has separated at the seam on the edge and is measurably sicker at that point. Which of the following actions should the user take first? Contact smartphone's manufacturer for warranty support. Power off the smartphone and place it in a bucket of rice for 48 hours. Place the smartphone in a refrigerator between 35 Fahrenheit and 40 Fahrenheit overnight. Fully deplete the phone's battery and then charge it 200%. And here the correct answer is contact the smartphone's manufacturer for warranty support. A technician is replacing laptop's HDD with an SSD. Which of the following should the technician do first? Create a backup of the HDD, enable SSD support at BIOS, upgrade the RAM on the laptop, install the SSD drivers inside the operating system. And the here correct answer is create backup of the HDD or hard disk drive. Which of the following technologies has the fastest connection speed? Fiber, satellite, cable 
or DSL? And the correct answer here is fiber. A PC in conference room will be connected to a large screen TV for video presentations during training sessions. Which of the following video connectors is the most likely choice for this environment? Video graphics array, Thunderbolt, digital visual interface or high definition multimedia interface. And here correct answer is high definition multimedia interface, which is also HDMI. A technician is tasked with installing additional RAM in a desktop computer. Which of the following types of RAM is most likely to be used in a desktop computer? VRAM, DDR3, SODIM or ECC? And the correct answer here is DDR3. Vertical streaks are appearing on the output of a laser printer. Which of the following items is the most likely cause? Transfer belt, roller, ribbon or drum? Correct answer here is drum. While implementing a non-carrier grade wireless backhaul, a technician notices the current channel selection is extremely polluted with various RF signals. Upon performing spectral analysis, the technician discovers a channel containing almost no RF pollution. Unfortunately, the technician is unable to select that channel. Which of the following is the most likely reason for this issue? First answer is the channel selection is defective, contact the manufacturer. The channel is reserved for licensed band use. The channel must be unlocked by the vendor or the device requires firmware update to unlock the channel. And here the correct answer is the channel is reserved for licensed band use. A user submitted a support ticket that states all of the printouts from a laser printer appear to have double images imposed on them. A review of past printer support ticket shows that a maintenance kit has not been installed in more than a year. Which of the following printer consumables is most likely causing the issue? Separation pad, transfer roller, ink cartridge or fuser? And here the correct answer is fuser. A technician is configuring a workstation to be used as a VM host. After installing the necessary software, the technician is unable to create any VMs. Which of the following actions should be performed? Enable fast startup. Enable multi-threading. Enable TPM. Disable the BIOS password. Or enable virtualization. And here the correct answer is enable virtualization. A user's computer is not receiving a network connection. The technician confirms that the connection seems to be down and looks for the user's port on the patch panel. The port and patch panel are not labeled. Which of the following network tools should the technician use to identify the port? A toner probe, a crimper, a punch down tool or a network tap. The correct answer here is a toner probe. A user who is attempting to give a presentation via a projector in a conference room reports that the projector has a video but no audio. Which of the following will most likely resolve the issue? Changing the input on the projector to VGA, utilizing an HDMI connection, modifying the projector's refresh rate or changing the output on the PC to DVI. The correct answer here is utilizing HDMI connection. A customer reports that the computer is never able to reach more than 100 megabytes per second transfer data rate, even when a using gigabit LAN card. While troubleshooting, the technician notices the network cable needs to be replaced. Which of the following cable categories is limiting the transfer speed? Cut 6, Cut 6A, Cut 5E or Cut 5? And the correct answer here is Cut 5. While using a popular video conferencing program, the user selects a webcam, but the software is unable to open the webcam. However, the webcam was working the previous day. Which of the following should be done to address this issue? 
reset or replace the webcam, adjust the conference software to a compatible resolution, close other video software and retry, switch the video from the webcam to conference mode. And here the correct answer is close other video software and retry. And next question is, a user failed to gain access to a building's entrance after security measures at the entrance were upgraded last week. The company implemented the 13.56 MHz frequency shortband and users can now utilize their mobile devices to authenticate. Which of the following has to be enabled for the mobile device to authenticate? Bluetooth Biometrics NFC or PIN? And here the correct answer is NFC, Near Field Communication. Which of the following standards supports MIMO technology? 802.11G 802.11A 802.11B or 802.11N and the correct answer here is 802.11n. A technician powers on a PC and its monitor and sees the following errors message. No input signal detected. The display lights on the computer are on. Which of the following is a possible solution? Checking the power plug on the PC. Changing the connector settings on the monitor. Changing the BIOS settings or checking the power plug on the monitor. And here the correct answer is changing the connector settings on the monitor. Which of the following components enables the input on a mobile device's touchscreen? CMOS sensor, OLED, digitizer or inverter? And here the correct answer is digitizer. A technician unboxed a new computer, plugged it into a UPS and connected the requested peripherals. The computer lights and fans turn on, but the technician hears three loud consecutive beeps during the boot. Which of the following actions will remediate the issue? Replacing the power supply, replacing the UPS, changing the CMOS battery, resetting the RAM. And the correct answer here is resetting the RAM. An IT manager discovered that the hundreds of pages of printed materials are being recycled each day because the materials are left on the printer tray instead of being picked up by users. Which of the following would best prevent this waste? Require a code or badge before releasing a print job? Enable duplexing printing to reduce paper utilization? Send friendly reminders to not print unnecessarily. Bill each department for the excess material cost. And here the correct answer is require a code or badge before releasing a print job. So here you go guys. If you found this video useful, leave a like, share this video, subscribe to the channel if you are new and see you in the next one.